Yeah, we see these ships. I've never seen them this close before. The view from Robin Charlwood's home is usually filled with water and wildlife. Now the landscape is what some call a man-made monstrosity. Three huge container ships, up to four football fields long each, anchored aimlessly in Puget Sound. We're getting the noise, the throbbing noise at night, and some of the people further up, if the wind is coming at them, they hear it at night, and it, it's a nuisance, and there's some fumes too. These three boats are in Holmes Harbor, nestled between Whidbey and Camano Islands. They're among 15 currently anchored in Puget Sound because of a massive backlog of container ships up and down the west coast. Ports from LA to BC are at capacity because of a supply chain surge sending goods from Asia flooding into America as coronavirus recedes. Railway issues in the Midwest are partially to blame for full ports in Seattle and Tacoma, leaving longshoremen nowhere to load the containers once they finally come in. There are concerns about lights and noise from the ships for both people and marine life. Coast Guard officials say they're doing their best to make sure the ships are good neighbors. If we get reports uh, from residents, uh, we will go out to the agent or to the ship and ask them to comply with that. Uh, we have no legal authority to enforce anything. Should people be concerned about anything hazardous on board these ships? No. You know, hazardous materials is a very broad category. Uh, and a lot of it really uh, is nothing to be worried about. In addition to the 15 ships now anchored in the sound, even more are expected over the next several days. And how long they'll stay is up to the supply chain. When can we expect to see these ships move out and move on? We can't really predict that. Your guess is as good as ours. One ship is scheduled to leave Holmes Harbor tonight, but it's expected to be replaced almost immediately. These ships are going to be around for a while, and the Coast Guard, however, says they do take all complaints very seriously. Live on Whidbey Island, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.